Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In a case you are visiting my channel for the first time, my name is Natasha and I'm fluent in nine languages. You probably think that being a polyglot and being fluent in so many languages only has advantages and only, has, uh, only brings positive things to you. It's mostly true. I think that it's a great thing. I'm so happy I have this talent. But I have to tell you that sometimes there are certain disadvantages that us polyglots have. And today I want to share with you five biggest problems or five most annoying things that happen to us polyglots. So let's start. The problem number one or the most annoying thing I believe comes with being a polyglot is something that only happens to people who are like online polyglots, as I love to call them, or people who love to brag about being polyglot on the internet. Something like that's something that I do. So the most annoying thing to me is when, for example, on Facebook, there are many groups for polyglots and we can discuss different language related things there. But some people obviously think that having certain languages you want to learn in common means that you can start flirting with a person who is learning the same language or who speaks that language. I cannot count how many times I was in a polyglot related group on Facebook and I replied to some post or I posted something asking like completely language related question and some people, men of course, believe that uh, the best way to flirt with someone is to start asking them questions about languages. And of course, since I love languages and I love talking about it, I would reply to them. But then after the first few sentences, they will immediately start with some stupid flirting kind of things. And I really hate that. And I understand that this is not only a problem that happens to polyglots, this is probably something that happens to every single woman who has ever made uh, online profile on any social media. Uh, but I just hate the fact that some people see languages as a mean to start flirting with someone or annoying someone with their like stupid communication, way of communication. And uh, like this is something that pisses me off so much and this is one of the reasons why I'm still like member of many polyglot groups on Facebook, but I'm almost never posting anything and I am rarely commenting on anything. And it's just because some people obviously see languages as a way to get to a woman or to start flirting with a woman. And that's so, so annoying. Second most annoying thing or most annoying problem happening to polyglots is something that has happened to me so many times and I believe it happened to other polyglots as well but every time I started to learn a new language one of the first questions that we people would ask me when I tell them that I'm learning certain language was oh do you have a boyfriend from that country and I was like is that the only reason why someone would want to learn a language? And I have never heard anyone asking that to like a male polyglot, but every time I would say like, oh, I started learning Greek, for example, and then the person would be, are you interested in a Greek guy? Hell no, I can learn languages independently on my interest in men. and. This was the most common question coming from both women and men and I find it so annoying and like on one hand I understand that most of the people really do get interested in certain language because they might like someone from that country but if you already speak so many languages you are really not likely to learn something just because you have a boyfriend or a girl girlfriend from that country. So please if you ever meet me and if I ever tell you that I'm learning certain language no, I do not have a boyfriend from that country. Okay, thank you. Problem number three, and this is a situation where I annoy myself and I'm the problem and not other people around me. But this is something that happens to everyone who speaks more than one language. And before I started learning languages, I didn't believe in this, but now I definitely do. When you speak more than one language, something that's definitely going to happen to you is that you are great in both languages, but you start mixing them up. 
just to explain this, this is not happening to me when I'm talking uh, to someone in certain language, because of course, if I'm talking to someone, then I am using my brain, 100% potential of my brain, and I'm trying to, you know, not get confused and not to use language, uh, word from different language. So this is not something that happens to me that much when I'm talking to someone. But the other day I was looking for a recipe for something and I found a great recipe and it was in English. So I was talking to myself, which is something that I do very often. And I was uh, like watching the video of the recipe and I was writing down uh, like the whole process, what should I do next and so on. So the recipe was in English and I was writing part of the recipe in English, like one word in English, then one word in my native language, which is Serbian. And then the third word was in language that doesn't exist. It was my mix of few languages and the word sounded so stupid. And I didn't even realize that I'm doing that until the end when I wrote down the whole recipe and I started reading it and I was like, oh my God. It was like a word salad. It was horrible. And I was so ashamed because like I am a polyglot, I can communicate with people in nine languages and then I'm communicating with myself, I'm writing something down and it looks so horrible. It's like mix of two languages plus a language that nobody ex that nobody knows it doesn't exist because I mixed up two words from two different languages and made my own word. It's so crazy and I know that this happens to probably everyone who speaks more than one language. And another thing that happens sometimes is that I know certain word in few languages and then I cannot remember the same word in like my native language or in English, which I use a lot. And that's so crazy how like the way our brain works sometimes and how confusing it can be. But this is really a big problem. But as I said, this is not happening that much when I'm talking to someone because I'm trying to control myself and use my brain properly. But when I'm alone and doing something or talking to myself, which I do a lot, I'm talking in a weird language that does not exist. Problem number four that many of us polyglots have is not being able to focus our attention on one language for like six months at least. I have seen that this happens to many polyglots and it has happened to me in the past. I would get so interested in a language and culture of certain country, like so interested that it was bordering with obsession. And then I would start learning language. I would start, you know, finding sources for learning that language. I would invest a lot of time into learning that language. And then after like a month or not even a month, after a few weeks, for some reason, I lose my interest into that language and I get interested either into something else or ju I just stop learning it. And I feel in one way it is so sad because where could I be now if I never gave up on those few languages that I tried to learn? But on the other hand, I always say that no knowledge is useless. So even though I gave up on something, I still did learn a few words. I still did kind of brain workout, so it's not too bad. But I have seen that many polyglots complain about the fact that sometimes they get interested into something and then after some time we just lose our interest. Which is probably something that happens to a bunch of other people as well, not when it comes to languages, but to something else. So I guess that nowadays literally everyone has a problem with focusing on one thing. And the problem number five, or the last problem I'm going to complain about today, is not even that big of a problem. It's more something that's, you know, funny, but kind of weird. I already did a video on this and you can check it on my channel, but believe it or not, when speaking different languages, we polyglots can change our personality a little bit or our way of behaving. And that's something that ha definitely happens to me a lot. And I'm a little bit ashamed to admit it, but it's true. The most common thing that happens to me is that, for example, when I speak Spanish, I'm very friendly, which I'm usually not that much. I mean, I'm not unfriendly, but I'm not too outgoing in real life. And when I speak Spanish, for some reason, I become very friendly and I want to talk a lot and I want to be nice to people. 
And then on the other hand, when I speak Russian, completely opposite thing happens. I become more like reserved, distant, which is probably closer to my real life personality, but not that much. And it is so weird. Like if I speak those two languages in one day with people, I will kind of be a different person and people that I'm speaking with will probably have different impression about me. And I don't know how to help it. I know why is that happening. I explained it in my video where I discussed like personality changes in polyglots, but it is not something that's a big problem. I don't consider it a big problem. I consider it as something that's rather funny than really problematic. So I'm not gonna complain about this problem too much. My complaining video for today is done. I hope you liked it. Please let me know in the comments, have you ever felt some of these uh, annoying things or disadvantages that we polyglots have. I assume you did, especially the one with uh, forgetting words in one language and knowing them in another. If you have any other polyglot problem, please let me know in the comments. And one more thing, if you like my videos, please give me a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel. I know this is the most annoying part of the video where I am like begging you to subscribe. And I know every YouTuber does that, but I can't explain you how important it is when you're starting on YouTube to have, you know, engaging public. So please, if you like my video, help me grow on YouTube and thank you so much. See you next week.